close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In case you do not forget to subscribe, like, and also comment down below on whatever you think about this hair. So yeah, today I am doing this butterfly locks, and all you need for this tutorial is some braiding hair, straws, rubber band, and uh, a crochet hook. So yeah, let's get into it. So as I said before, you will have you will have to use like a lot of braids four to five buckets or six i don't know what you prefer or the size or length you want your locks to be so the first thing you're going to do is divide the braiding hair into the sizes you want your locks to be and you'll make a knot out of the braiding hair yeah so as to secure the straw to you know what i mean <laughs> And then you'll take the straw and place it in between the braiding hair and make make it make the knot tight for it to be secured and then you will coil or wrap the hair not coil <laughs> wrap the hair around the straw and make sure you do that tightly. Yeah. And you'll secure the upper patch using a rubber band as I have done in the video you will then continue wrapping the hair around the straw and yeah that's all you have to do basically you'll do the same on the rest of the braiding hair that you have and after doing that you will place the braiding hair that is on the straws in hot water for you to get your curls and you will have these results afterwards uh, I let mine dry for like 10 hours overnight yeah and as you can see I already have uh, my two tiles on my head are uh, braids out of my natural hair but if you want your locks to be thick you can use braids braids from braiding hair yeah and then you will separate the hair from each straw for it to be fluffy and puffy yeah for you to have like a messy look the hair has to be fluffy and puffy and for each braid I used or each matuta I used like two like hair from two straws so as you can see my head is already full of braids made out of my natural hair and now I am going to crochet the braiding hair onto the matuta. Yeah, you will place the braiding hair onto your crochet hook and tie it and then pull it to the other side. Each side of the braid made out of natural hair has to have like one strand. You have to have one strand on each side not strand like the you know what i mean okay and one strand has to be okay i'm going to use the word strand because i cannot see any other word to use yeah one strand has to be shorter than the other for it to work and you if you know how to do the locks the fox locks then this will be easy a little bit easier for you so you will uh, like hold one side of the braid braiding hair together with the braid made out of your natural hair and all you're going to do is like wrap the hair around the braiding hair that you have left aside and the braid made out of your natural hair yeah that's all you have to do basically and uh, for the next part you'll be picking I don't know how to explain this but it's just like wrapping and picking a little bit of the hair that you're using to wrap and uh, you lose your thumb to do this I really don't know how to put this but I hope you see clearly what I'm doing so all you're doing is like wrapping the hair around the other braiding hair that you have left aside and then you like use your thumb to pick some hair from the 
hair that you're using to wrap and yeah I hope you see what I'm doing I clearly cannot explain this but it's all about picking and dropping picking and dropping yeah that's all you have to do for this style and you will have the butterfly effect that you so desire if you want it to be more like distressed and more shaggy and messy you'll have to pick the hair a lot yeah
shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on So I did the rest of camera. I hope you got the concept and uh, if you do like this tutorial do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Yeah. And leave a comment too. So bye and thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.